Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen, and this can, this can guest. I'm delighted to be here to participate in the international launch of the Global Health Alliance Melbourne during my visit to Australia this week. I was fortunate to meet with members of the foundation committee yesterday, so hear about the ambitions and their exciting plans. The establishment of Alliance built on Australia's role as health leader both in the region and globally, as a Melbourne's place as a hub for so much of the, this expertise. Health issues in the region and the global world is complex and diverse. All countries are experiencing rising rate of non-communicable disease with alarming high level of key risk factors such as smoking. And in China, for instance, more than 50% of men still smoke. And see this uh, threat, not only the health, but also social and economic development. In many countries, infectious disease is still a major challenge. Take tuberculosis as example, still a major issue for the countries such as Papua New Guinea. There is an urgent need across the region to make TB treatment more affordable and accessible. This region is also a hot spot for the health security threat and prone to natural disasters. And again, the backdrop, countries are at a very different stage on a journey to establishing universal health coverage and building the stronger health system needed to address health challenges. We have seen in other countries in other con contexts that groups like uh, Global Health Alliance, Melbourne, can play an important role tackling uh, difficult health issues. I know from the meeting with the Alliance members yesterday that a major focus on work will be making the case for return on investment in health. I was pleased to, to hear about this. Given the threat poor health poses is to social and economic development, making the economic case for health is very important. We know that the return on investment in health is huge. The Alliance can also help to forge partnership around the particular issues and challenges and bring best technical expertise to bear on the program, problems where it is needed most. I'm convinced that partnership, collaboration, and innovations within and beyond the health sector are more critical in the era of SDG than ever before. Partnership and collaborations are, of course, easy to say, but not always easy to do. This is an area where groups like the Alliance can really help. At the WHO, we very much look forward to working with the Alliance to help promote and protect health in the region and beyond. I thank you again for inviting me to be here in your official launch today. Please accept my very best wishes on behalf of the World Health Organization for the Alliance determination to work. Thank you. <laughs>